You're ready to save your first part to 3D Experience. Once you have the part open, you can access the Lifecycle and Collaboration tab. If you don't see this here, you can access this with the right click, Tabs, and turn on Lifecycle Collaboration. Then you can select the Save with Options command. This is going to start by extracting the file information and preparing the file for upload to 3D Experience. Then it will open up the Save to 3D Experience dialog. The first thing that we're going to want to do, especially when saving the part to the platform for the first time, is to select a bookmark. This is similar to selecting a folder. When we access the Select Bookmark dialog, it will pop up a dialog window here where we can select the folder we'd like to place it in. If you don't have one already, you can highlight bookmarks and select the new bookmark icon. We'll go ahead and call this Test Project. Once you're ready, you can select OK. And then we'll scroll down and activate test project to apply that as our bookmark for this part. Once we've completed this, we can go ahead and select save and it will proceed to save this to the 3D experience and it will be backed up and accessible on any device anywhere that you can log into 3D experience. Once it's successfully uploaded, we can confirm by accessing the extension over in our feature manager where we can access lifecycle and collaboration information. One of these columns is the status, in which we can see a green check mark here, uh, signifying that this is backed up on 3D Experience and no changes are registered locally. If I was to rebuild this part, we can see that this symbol changes to an orange floppy disk. Once you're ready to save any changes, you can again click Save with Options. And we can see here that the bookmark has already been applied, so we don't need to do that again. But we do see Lock Required. What we can do is just select lock all and that's going to signify that we're the user that's working on this part and select save. It will then save those changes up to the cloud storage. Once those have gone through we'll see that the status symbol turns back to a green check mark and we're good to go. Once you're ready to open data, the next time you come into SolidWorks you can access the generic open command and then you can jump over into your bookmarks and find the bookmark that you saved your part in. And there it is. Then you can select it and select to open. The same process carries out for parts, assemblies, and drawings. Now you've got everything you need to save your first parts, assemblies, and drawings into the 3D Experience platform. Alternatively, you can also access Save to 3D Experience from the File dropdown, or Control-Alt-S. Or you can access the 3D Experience task pane and right-click and save. 